San Antonio Living, we are answering your holiday etiquette questions. Who do you send a present to? Who doesn't get one? How do you address your holiday cards? Well, Diane Gottsman, our etiquette expert, will be here to answer all of those questions and so much more. All right, coming up next, it's the questions that you might be afraid to ask over the holidays. Like, who gets a gift? Who doesn't get a gift? How much do we tip? All those good things. Diane Gottsman will be here. She's got details coming up next. You're watching San Antonio Living. Well, welcome back. Just in time to answer your holiday questions. Diane Gottsman, our etiquette expert. How are you? I'm good. Oh boy, the viewers have a lot of questions. They're ready for the holidays. <laughs> they are ready for the holidays. But you know, we always run into these little etiquette things for some reason. So I'm gonna run down the questions because I'm sure if someone, if one person has the question, then a lot of you do. So number one, how do I decide who gets a holiday greeting card with a family photo and who does not? Have you ever gotten a card from someone and you don't recognize them and certainly you don't recognize the children? Oh gosh, that has happened. That's your first clue. Don't send a photo to someone okay. that doesn't know the children. You know, okay. a business associate, send them a business greeting card versus a family Christmas oh, card. Oh, smart. Okay, I like that. Um, I spent a lot of time, Diane, picking out just the right gift for a friend and they gave me something thoughtless. <sighs> What do I do? Okay, so there's that word thoughtless that bothered me because what's thoughtless to the one person might right. be something that's really important to another. Mm -hmm. So a gift is not an obligation. You just say thank you so much. Right. Because it was the effort that counts. That is one thing I have learned from you over the years that it's okay if someone gives you a gift, you don't have to scramble and go, well, I have one for you. I'm bringing it tomorrow. <laughs> right? right? It's okay to just say, Thank you, that is so kind. And again, that's one of the questions we got from our viewers is mm -hmm. what do I do? So that's exactly, Shelly, you're catching on. I have decent etiquette. You just etiquette. say thank you so much. <laughs> Very nice. What about if it's, you know, you guys exchange gifts and you buy me a $500 present and I only got you a pair of socks. That's awkward. I hope you buy me the $500 <laughs> present and I get you the socks. <laughs> what do you do? Okay. You just say nothing. You say, thank you so much. What a gracious gift. Okay. Because it's not tit for tat. You know, it's not about sure. the, it's, believe it or not, it's not about the dollar value. So if they can afford a little more, if you can afford a little more to give me, great. But okay. I'm going to give you what I can afford. What if someone gives you a gift that they picked out for you, but like for Shelly Miles, it happens to be a petite small and I don't fit. <laughs> if it's a friend or if it's your mom or if it's somebody that you're close to, you can say, you know, I love it, but I need another size. Okay. If it's someone you don't know, don't scramble around trying to find them to get the gift receipt. Okay. Just say thank you and move move on. Okay, let's see. Ooh, gift certificates. A lot of people want to give gift certificates. Are there do's and don'ts that go along Love with that? Love gift certificates. But don't give someone a gift certificate to, I'm not going to give Shelly Miles a gift certificate to a hunting store if I know you don't, if I don't I know don't whether hunt. or not you hunt. Yeah. Or a manicure if I can't tell if you do your nails or not. Okay. So just make it something thoughtful and appropriate for that person. What about those people who feel like a gift certificate is not, like, my kids want gift certificates because they're old. They like to pick out their old, their own stuff. But some people feel like they don't want to give a gift certificate because they feel like it's thoughtless. It's a, you know what? It's a nice fallback if you don't know okay. what else to get. But don't. That should not be a romantic gift. You know, okay. if you're in a brand new relationship with a brand new boyfriend or girlfriend. Don't give a gift certificate. That's okay. going to hurt their feelings. All right, let's talk about work and gifting a little bit. Say you're like a salesperson or whatever, and you're given a gift by a vendor. So what, can you accept that? Well, if you're a salesperson, you have to look at the corporate policy because sometimes okay. salespeople can't accept gifts. Okay. But if you're a business person and someone gives you a big, shiny, big screen television, you, that might look like a bribe. Mm. So you How might, big is the TV? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How much can we sell? It? No. So you just say, you know, thank you so much, but unfortunately we can't accept anything okay. over X amount of dollars. Okay. What if you're in the situation where as a whole, you don't have a lot of money to spend this holiday season? So how do you share that fact with your close friends without you know, putting yourself and, and them in a weird situation? You know what, guys, this has been a, you know, I just got back up on my feet. I'm gonna say that I'm out this year. You I'm know, out. I love okay. you, I love you, and I'm gonna wish you happy holidays, but this year count me out. Or just say, you know, why don't we pick names? If you're friends with everyone, just be honest. They're mm -hmm. gonna understand. And is there any like rules with this whole picking name thing? 
Yeah, well, I don't like that picky name. <laughs> so my rule is, don't you know, picky names. don't be picky names. You know, well, just, no, I don't think there's any okay. one rule. You know, families do it because they've got huge families. So right. in that regard, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. But in, in terms of rules, I'll have to look that one up. Okay. All right. Oh, well, the holidays have just begun. So I'm sure we'll have many more questions yeah. as we roll on this holiday season. Of course, Diane Gotsman is our etiquette expert. You can find her at the Protocol School of Texas, PSOTX.com or Diane Gotsman. The phone number is on your screen. It's 826-1111.